The Dark Ritual. There it is, guys. DMZ effect, free self res. What I tell you, this is just going to get more and more advantage. I thought they were going to uh, taper it back. Maybe not get as pay to win with it, you know, but here it is. Spend $25. You can get a free self res. Every time you play DMZ, go in with a self res where other people are just going in with nothing and can't get away to guarantee themselves a free self res every time they play the game. Oh, just wait till the UAV comes. Advanced UAV. Heck, they'll probably give you a mini gun off the rip one of these days, and you'll be dominating everybody. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Listen, people people are getting mad at me. They're thinking I'm wrong, whatever. The writing's there. You just got to read it. Oh, boy. It's so like here, I like the STV better. MX9 is pretty bad. I think that's what I had. Biggest priority though, usually when landing, I try and get a plate in as quick as I can. Something throwable that can stick somebody is always nice. We already got enough for loadout. We just want some more plates so we can fight. Be a little weary of the registers here. I like the TAC V a lot as well, but it's only a 20 rounder, so probably should have kept the STV. It's kind of just nitpicking at this point. I don't think it really matters that much. We're probably going to die anyways, but... You know, it's, it's not going to be the biggest difference in a fight. They're both... If we go up against somebody who's got a good, better gun, we'll probably lose anyways. Gas is Going up. Yeah, full auto floor loot. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. Maybe this is not the best spot because I literally just died here last game. Okay, we got one guy in there, one guy in there, one guy in there. All right, now we can toss this bad boy in. Probably could have bought more there, but what the heck? Where did my loadout go? Did it get stuck up on the top? Oh, gosh. This guy going to land on me and kill me. Hey, there it is. All right, dude. Uh, I'm so happy we have the scar in this game, and I barely ever use it, because I just get a win usually so fast with it, and then it's like, I don't want to do all my videos with the same guns, and I try other guns, but we're going back to it, damn it. We're going back to the scar, the good old TAC-56. This was my go-to when the game first came out. I always loved this, uh, and I wanted to use it as a sniper support, but of course... The snipers were uh, not bueno after they made it. They nerfed the one-shot explosive round, but now they've added it back. Explosive rounds, one-shot. Here we go. Yeah, spawn protection. Let's just try and go up to the roof here. What are you guys doing? giving him a ride that is a hard shot that is an easy shot i've been shooting a lot though so we're probably gonna get third party let's move ltv's driving by again what the heck is going on man oh, i got him <laughs> I knocked him out. I knocked him out. <laughs> he was riding on the back. Are we in? Yeah, we're in solos. That dude's just riding on the back. But he has a self res, so let's get back up. Oh. Range check. 380 meters. Jeez, that's super duper uber far. Oh. Needed a little bit more height. Moving. Oh, that was a little too much height. One. Oh, nailed it. That was 324. That was why. I should have range checked it before I took the shot. But fortunately, he didn't move because I didn't hit him. The first guy cracked him, so he ran away. 
Of course he backs up. If he would have moved forward, that would have headshot him. But I did disable the vehicle. Sheesh, man. Let's think about it. That guy spent all that time setting up his guy, playing the game. And then, bah! I hit him from a mile away, dude. He's just out. Moving. 350. Should be right about there. Oh, a little more height. Just a little more height. Now he's scared. He doesn't even know what just happened to him. This guy's got tempered play too, so he'd be really good to go loot even. Someone has been in training level. Dude, this isn't even like aim training stuff. This is like all pointless what I'm doing up here. This is just this is just goofy. Sniping up here. This is not it's not even skill, man. It's just goofy. Oh, there was a guy right there. It's a different skill. Like this skill's not actually applicable. Who cares if I snipe somebody from that far away? It's cool, I guess. I, I that is cool. This is the more important skill shot here is hitting like something insane like that that would be more valuable then i could even go loot him <laughs> he thought he was being so sneaky dude There's this guy. How do you think the strat slash gameplay will be in WZ ranked? Hold on. Shit, I just lost breath. Gas is inbound. Mark the blue safe zone. I got the range. I think I got the range. Got the range! I got the range, dude. I got the range. But see, I can't even go loot this guy. So it doesn't really even matter that I just killed him in practice. But all those years of long range battlefield sniping, I'll tell you what. Tell you what. I used to feature people, though, that would hit like 1,000, 2,000 meter collaterals. It back in battle old school battlefield sniping in my world's best couple of the weeks show dude there used to be legendary legendary sniping oh for some of these but that's uh you know it's still sick it's still sick well let's just go play the early too much lead let's just keep going shot i missed twice embarrassingly redemption this guy is a signal sniper redemption i that was really embarrassing guys i'm sorry you had to watch that i should not have missed it. especially that third shot that was was that the signal? He seemed to shoot so quick. That's the Imperium. I don't know if we're going to use the TAC 56, man. I was going to just try and use the TAC today. Now it comes into play more at the end game, though. I play so, like, high and center. Oh. oh. A lot of times I don't run into people. Unless it's like this. Dude, I looked on the roof. I didn't even see him. I, uh, I didn't even see him. We're going to look at all the news after this. Free win. <laughs> All right. Checkmate. 
Okay, the guy that killed us was good. He knew what he was doing. He was playing center zone. He's controlling top building. He immediately pushes, doesn't just play passive for it. So I don't want to go contest back for my stuff. We could go try and buy a new loadout here, but there's, I think, even higher risk of me dying if I do that. I'm going to try the buy. I'm going to try the buy. I think it's actually riskier to go for the load, but I don't know. Garrett, Holden, Chad, David, Darren, all you guys, welcome back on the resubs. Danny and Kevin, also, thank you so much for the stars, guys. Yeah, we got to do some more customs. That's the benefit of playing early zone. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Son of a bitch. Told you that guy was good. Actually, I don't know if that was him. Might have been a different guy. A little exposed to this side. That guy was free balling it out here, though. He was just standing out in the open. Yeah, I feel like out. he was confident Marking over here. Zone. Top six. Here we go. Here we go. Damn. Mortar's in on the other roof. There's five buildings that are in, though, so somebody could be in each of them. We probably don't even want to be here at height, so I'm going to have to jump down, but we can smoke it. that gas is closing in relocating the safe zone gas is moving We gotta work here. He's got the inside building. We won't expect this. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. You got gas moving in. Damn it, and he just goes out. What terrible timing. zone bro i can't even make it in sad day <sighs> no bro only five bro. if the cast just let us play a little bit at the end game just let me play a little bit give me more than five seconds just gave that guy the freest kill man Freest win, rather. He was good, though. He had good movement playing the edge of zone and uh, playing the lead. That was good.
Yeah, I burnt a little bit too, my ma too much of my mask going for the play on that guy and the timing. I catch him on the pull, though, where it was coming. If he... Dude, I, the fact he ran outside is actually kind of crazy to me. I thought he would have run through there for sure, but maybe he heard me too. He might have just been trying to evade and then ran into the other guy.